Hey guys, uh, back again for another review video. This time we're changing it up a little bit and going to be looking at a car kit from Hasegawa with their 124th scale uh, Volkswagen delivery van with markings for uh, the summer version of their Egg Girls. Um, if you've built any of their egg plane kits, um, they're the characters that are on the box art. So let's open this up and take a look. Um, one thing that immediately jumps out is the fact that the kit, instead of coming with a set of plastic wheels, which uh, is unfortunate, um, comes with a set of uh, four rubber tires. Now, these are good in that they properly uh, you know, show the weight and uh, depression from the kit like a real tire would. However, these types of tires are notorious for um, breaking down and degrading. So thankfully in my, in my example, uh, they came out all right, but you now it is something to be aware of. And since the kit doesn't come with um, plastic wheels, you may want to just be on the safe side, uh, recast a set of these so that God forbid um, they do degrade on you or you just want to replace them so you don't have to worry about it um, down the line. But other than that, though, uh, they do accurately portray the tires quite nicely. Um, there is a fine bit of treading. I don't know how well this will show up. Camera. Uh, so also including that particular set is a set of four poly caps for attaching the wheels. Now, moving on. First plastic sprue we've got are our front and back bumpers, as well as our mirror, side mirrors, uh, rear view mirror, and a couple other odd and detailing parts, and our radio antenna. Uh, next up, we've got our uh, license plates with a couple different variations. So, you depending on country of origin you want to build. Um, you do have those options. Our, our gear shifter, our wheel, which to, at least to my eye seems slightly underscaled, um, mostly notably in the wheel itself. Uh, obviously, we can fairly easily uh, correct this just probably with some putty and then reshaping. Um, so it's not too terrible. We also cut out a couple of side panels and well, there's some mounting parts for our wheels. And speaking of the wheels, um, we've got our plastic wheel hubs here. Uh, thankfully, they chose to uh, cast these just in plain plastic instead of uh, coating it with the sort of fakey chrome stuff. Um, we'll get to that in a moment. So this does give us a nice surface with which to work with to either chrome them up or uh, do paint them up or do whatever. So they do did a great job there. There's surprisingly a lot of detailing in them. Hopefully this shows up on camera. So they task did a nice job there. Now where House Gallery dropped the ball is on these chrome parts. Um, the chrome itself is not very good. Um, it looks really fake and is just flat out bad. However, um, and hopefully this will show up, the detailing on them is actually fairly good, such as on these hubcaps, you can actually make out the little Volkswagen insignias, as well as the rest of the detailing on some of these other parts. So why the chrome itself is not worth it, and you'll have to obviously strip it, the parts themselves are actually pretty good. Um, back on this particular spoon, hopefully it'll show up on camera, you can actually see where the chrome start to uh, rub off from just the parts rubbing against each other, which is not very good. So it is what it is there. So moving on, we've got our clear parts for our front window and back window. 
Uh, overall, they're slightly thick. Um, they could be just a hair bit thinner to better represent. But fortunately, they're clear and don't have any noticeable uh, deformities to their casting. Continuing on, we've got our main body shell, which is done as a single piece. Uh, my biggest complaint here is this Volkswagen insignia. They did it as a molded on part. Uh, frankly, I think it would have been better if they did it as a separate part that we need to attach, as that will help with painting, as masking that off is going to be a bear. And while I do believe they include the decal, it ultimately would look better painted. Now, another thing I noticed uh, is these two pore stubs up on top where I guess the mold machine it's tricky. So those are going to need to get sanded off. You can see this one a little better than the back one. But those are going to need to get sanded off and cleaned up. So overall, with that exception, they did a very nice job casting this thing as all the various components are nicely represented in scale and you know, almost looks like a scaled down version of the actual car. It's quite nice. Continuing on, we've got our various drive train components, axle, and various other parts to build the, up the undercarriage. Uh, not a whole lot to write about here. Um, they're fairly decently de detailed. Uh, continuing on, we've got another sprue containing all of our uh, indicator lenses, which are thankfully, not, in comparison to the window, are properly scaled, look fantastic, and I don't know if this will show up, but if you look at the uh, brake lights, you can actually see some of the detailing. Hopefully this, my camera will focus. I don't think it's gonna show up, but they do, there is nice pattern detailing work on it. So that, that's a nice job there. Last up, we've got our uh, main uh, floor, as well as the build up of the undercarriage, our dashboard, which is fairly spartan, as well as some more undercarriage parts and seats and whatnot. All are nicely detailed, so don't need to say too much there. Excuse me while I get these parts back in the other box. Now, moving on to our decals. Uh, we've got these fantastic large uh, swimsuit fitted uh, grill decals that are going to need to be put on. Obviously, given their size, will make handling a little bit more difficult. But the fact that we get to use all three of them um, on this kit is great. Um, a lot of the kits like this, you'll sometimes have to pick and choose which one you want to use. But with how they chose to do it, in terms of the arrangement, we get to use all three, which is nice. Uh, we also got various license plate and other detailing decals. Again, the Volkswagen insignia for the front up there, as well as our gauges and whatnot. Moving on to our instruction sheet. Interestingly enough, this kit has you start assembly with the undercarriage as opposed to building up the interior first and then uh, working on the undercarriage, which is a bit interesting. Uh, a lot, decent number of the kits I've built start with the uh, interior and then work out. Why it doesn't ultimately really matter as so long as you know, you're careful. It is just a bit of an interesting aside. So uh, main issue I see uh, working with the undercarriage is some of the smaller parts uh, as they're pretty fine. So obviously air is going to be needed so you don't accidentally break anything. But uh, assembly should go pretty s uh, smoothly, especially once you get it uh, starting to button everything up. The only last area of concern being some of these, again, smaller parts for finishing up the detail work. Again, we've got only a single marking option for this kit. 
it's sort of a sea blue over a lighter blue. Um, you got the paint call outs up top. And yeah, overall, it's, it's a nice layout for how they have this kit done. So overall, now it's an interesting little kit. Um, the kit itself, um, as far as the model is concerned, is a nice representation of the VW uh, van. Um, a friend of mine from my youth had the, uh, not the delivery version, but the van van version. So that I am actually have seen and written in um, get this particular vehicle. So it does hold a little bit of nostalgia. Uh, with the addition of the markings, now that's going to be an individual tasting. But now, like everything, it's individual taste. So overall, that was a look at Hasegawa's uh, 124th scale Volkswagen uh, delivery van with uh, egg girl markings. Nice little kit and one to potentially consider depending on your taste. So until next time.